is uh, pretty gen uh, pretty generous anyway. Oh god, it's it's going to be a closed map. Okay. It is on too many enemies, but this guy this guy has rockets. These guys are going to make their way towards us. So I think what I'll do is I'll fight on this bridge. Yeah, that's what I'll do. How do I even get here? There, there we go. I forgot to give them the power back! And I forgot to set him up too. God damn it. I mean he wasn't going to get any melee stuff anyway. That guy's a gunner type. Oh well. At least at least at least I realized that before the next mission. This hopefully will not take long. It's just that uh, all of these enemies are gonna take a lot of time to actually get to us. Honestly, sometimes I feel like uh, these humongous maps of Front Mission 4 are frustrating. But sometimes I also feel like if, if, if these maps weren't this big, then uh, why would you bother having uh, 8 movement legs? Something to think about. But because of, also because of these huge maps, I feel like... You need eight movement legs. You can't. You literally can't live without them. So you 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 you'll never want to use uh, the six movement and four movement legs ever. All right. Which enemies are coming towards us first? These guys. Yeah, let's go after them. Look at that, I'm literally spending the first three turns just uh, moving. So that's something I don't appreciate. It's not as if I have anything to set up either. Should have given him better legs though. I, I completely forgot that Husky S only has six move. Alright, let's engage. I think in these situations, uh, shields are really working out for me. Oh my god, you guys only have three movement. I'll save the I'll save the rocket launchers for last. This is horrible positioning. Hey, wanna become famous? Well at least the wanna become famous bot. Last two streams. I I've missed you dude. There was some there was some imposter. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Matt. There's some imposter.
how do I deal with this? Should I like take one more turn just to retreat or should I just engage? Let's let's see what happens. This is absolutely suboptimal. I want to be family when we play this shit games we play. Nah. I, I, I don't I don't think we're just capable of that. I don't I don't think it depends on game choice at all. I really did not want to attack one by one only, but looks like I don't really have a choice. I'm going to need to rely on the enemy to give me some positional advantages. This this Caracas map is absolutely horrible. Congested uh, city space. Uh, look at this. Because of, because of their positioning, everybody else is completely useless. I'll just make sure I heal someone and uh, call it for the turn. Literally nobody's injured? Surprising. But at least it gives the enemies a chance to reach us. But they are moving like... 3 tiles per turn. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Look at look at how they're evading like a boss at 16% evasion. It's ridiculous. And the Durandal team with over 50% evasion can't do shit. Okay, I, I need to move. This is this is not a good situation. Some weapons I have attack not two times but three. Even more advantages for burst weapons, huh? Generally have lower accuracy. I found that uh, accuracy is actually sometimes more more important than uh, than uh, the damage. I think the prime example early game is uh, the gust. Just because of its accuracy, you can you can use it for a very long time. All right, I'm gonna invite them in, and hopefully they will not stand side by side because I want to be able to attack them with at least two people. This is a really unfortunate situation, and one of the one of the major disadvantages of uh, melee only. Oh, come on! Give me a break! Can I climb over the buildings and uh, go behind him, perhaps? You get XP for each attack. That's plus 50% of XP training weapons. I see. So it's just used for grinding purposes, then. Understandable. How did he hit his legs? Didn't I use a shield? Strange. Haven't managed to kill even one guy. Is is this gonna be my ah? Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and use some kind of strategy. You go here. Uh, where is Ines? Ines is here. Schaefer? How come... We okay. Okay, we can climb buildings, but we can't climb these buildings right away. I don't, I don't know how elevation works in this game. <clears throat> well, whatever. I'm just trying to position my, my troops again in this turn. Because uh, this, this just will not do. 
Jane is gonna be here and I guess I'll have Rengas over here. I want to be able to attack them with at least uh, two units. That uh, max jumping hand is a leg stat. Yup. There seems to be no such. I mean, there seems to be a jumping mechanic here, as in as in a height mechanic here. It's just that it's invisible. The game doesn't really tell you when you can and can't jump. Some legs do allow you to jump on top of buildings, and uh, others just don't. Very soon we are going to get swarmed. Haven't even ki Oh shit, these guys have already reached us. Ooh boy. Gonna get pincered. And there's also a great launcher, I remember. Alright, at least we can attack this guy from three sides. So, that that's a great benefit. Kidding me? These guys are gonna use shields too? That is so unfair. And they're evading now. Yeah. So much for uh, this mission going well. Ines. They seem to ignore shield sometimes. I, w I wonder what the hell that is. Ooh, we completely disabled this guy. But I, wa I, I want to kill him. <coughs> Actually, now that we are being attacked from this side as well, should we just go and engage them? Nah, I'll just, I'll just uh, have my troops in a group here. I just allow them to come closer. What do you mean ignore? Ignore what? What did I what I what I what did I say? <laughs> that is so funny. Please kill him. Thank you. Alright, one down. First strike list one shield will not block all attacks. Wait, what? Oh come on. It's like Do we need even more disadvantages of using a shield? Okay, that is really unfortunate. That shield does not block all attacks. And why didn't Ines attack? Oh, he's not linked. He's not linked to Ines. Got nothing to do right now. Uh, these these kind of city missions are are just gonna take a lot of turns. Actually. I'm very thankful that uh, I already unlocked U Sim U10 because I don't think I would have been able to do this by turn 30. Shield use would be used some after second chain of three attacks. Ah, got it, got it, got it. No, wait. I think I think he still had uh, shield uses remaining. Let's take a look at this. Okay, he still uses the shield. Never mind, never mind. I think I noticed that on uh, J4. With rifle shots. Oh, 
Alright, we are just completely being surrounded here. Let's see what we can do. I need, I need to keep Thamond out if possible because he's not linked with anyone. Stupid me. Alright, Rengus can go and support Daryl. Come on, trigger some skills. Who needs healing? I guess I could heal Rengus' shield. On this side, we need Ines. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Let's get Thamond out of there. And get Lewis in. Oh, cool. Best pairing. Lewis and Ines combo. And uh, Daryl and Rengus combo. Stop dodging! I think they're getting some triggers. Oh, you could have hit the body, you bitch! That's gonna be my constant frustration. <laughs> I'm trying to more accuracy with second arm holding a rifle. Arm literally gets better after. Minus 32% aim arm gets blown away. What? So is is it like arm average? Is that is that how it, how accuracy is calculated in Formation 5? That's stupid. Nice super low accuracy with low damage, low accuracy with a grind XP in simulator. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting some FM5 pro tips, which I probably won't remember by the time uh, we get there. Oh shit! Everybody's running out of shields now. Stop attacking Sam! Actually, no, go ahead and attack Sam. He is unarguably the most useless of our group. Then their mechanic is a pain. But do levels actually do anything? That's the question. I must admit, uh, levels here don't really do a whole lot. Oh, come on. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Let's not lose our cool. Figure mechanic level, new skills unlocked. Oh, okay. That's, that's nice then. Because in this game, it's like, why do we even have levels? Sure, they contribute a little bit to evasion, not even accuracy. And if he got rid of the 
left group. When are these guys gonna reach us? Is this a rocket launcher? Okay, that's a rocket launcher. These guys are slowly making their way towards us, okay? So hopefully we'll be ready for them by the time we are done with these guys. And uh, where's the other group? The other group is right behind them. So we better start uh, killing these guys soon. J4, are you done? J4 is done, so I guess we're done for the turn. Block damage 20 is basic, block 50 is for further levels, okay. So you need to level up to unlock those battle skills. Makes sense. Makes levels a lot more important. Good thing they're attacking Thamond. I don't care if he dies. Wonder how long I have to wait for the next set of computer shops. Everybody needs some uh, melee levels. Oh no! The rocket launcher is starting to make his way towards us. Uh, that could get bad. Because all of us are in this uh, large group, maybe we should separate. I, I don't want I don't want them to target uh, one guy and then just kill him. Well, we we just gonna have to suck up two rockets. Hasn't hit the body yet. Thank you. Hey! Rockets incoming. Uh, should heal Famond. I'll heal him from a distance. Distance zone literally doesn't matter if the rocket launcher just targets in the middle. He'll have enough uh, area of effect to pretty much target all of us. Speed skill gives more bullets fired, depending on number. Speed trace assault skill, but it's applied to Gunner's Gatling. Well, I don't get that. If you're on plus 50% bullets fired skill, you need to grind assault level 6 or something on your Gunner. Okay, you're talking about levels like that. Oh, I, th I thought you were talking about pilot levels. Gatling gives only gun levels. What is HF grinding? So I guess it's like a mixture of uh, From Mission 4 and From Mission 3. In From Mission 3 you have to do a lot of grinding if you want skills. And plus you have to have equipment as well. And in uh, front of four, you just you just needed ability points, and you could just buy them outright. So if you had ability points right off the bat, you could buy all the skills you want. So I guess in front of mission five is like a uh, in between. Let's get proficiency level. Okay, so that's just like front of mission in, uh, four. Efficiency levels in Front Mission 3 did very little to add to the damage. I mean, I mean, I guess it was significant, but... Oh, come on! My, my whole turn is wasted now. I hate the city map. And rockets incoming. Yeah, in Front Mission 3, by the end, I guess S rank, the difference between S rank and uh, absolutely no rank was a significant difference, but uh, between each level, it, it took a lot to get to S rank, mind you. But uh, yeah, I, I never thought that they were very significant. Only by using corresponding weapons backpacks. 
get backpack levels too. That means probably gonna die at the slow rate at which we are progressing. Oh man, at least dodge rifle shots? Holy shit! Ah, it'll be fine. That guy's just a uh, meat shield for us right now. I'm just wondering when the rockets are going to be coming. Finally we managed to hit him! Oh my god! Spoke too soon. Gonna take one more turn, huh? Jesus Christ, this is annoying. Simon probably dead this turn. Should I move him away and give them a different target perhaps? You know what, let's do that. Gonna get pincered again. At least it'll give the the others some work to do. Now they're going after Daryl. Okay, okay, not cool, not cool. What happened to you dodging, Simon? Oh dear god. Starting to lose a lot of parts. I'm very surprised that these guys are missing so much. No rockets yet, surprisingly. I guess he wants to, uh, like, target right in the middle. Finally! Finally we can make some progress. Oh, never mind. These guys are now blocking the way. Oh god, I hate this. You know what? I'm shifting focus. Uh, Ines? Come here. We'll deal with the rockets. I just can't stand being cock blocked like that. Complete bottleneck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there anybody else who can make the way? Yeah. Ines? Starting to doubt if I can win this mission. I mean, I knew it was going to be a struggle, but not this much, to be perfectly honest. Sam and you just to meet shield.
PB fighting on the bridge is a lot better than uh, fighting in the middle of all of those buildings. I just thought I just thought uh, that intersection would be a favor favorable for us. But if we can only attack any enemy with uh, at at best two units, then I guess uh, we'll have we'll just fight on the bridges. Oh man, I don't want Daryl to die. Oh, we can surround that guy! Or can we? Shit! They've got off Daryl. I need to save him. Okay, shit has hit the fan now. <laughs> oh no, the rockets are targeting Carol. Oh crap. I am so royally screwed. Forget Hammond. Uh, forget Thamond. Let's save Daryl. I need to get Ines in as well. Where is Ines? Get Daryl out first. Need some body shots. Oops, Thamon can't literally can't attack. Uh Lewis. Oh, nice body shot there. Okay, I'm just gonna block the way. Can't, yeah, I'm just gonna block the way here for now. This guy's almost dead. Let's try for a body shot on him. Alright. Every unit destroyed is like uh, less less fire I have to face next on. Man, even Rangus is doing like 300 damage. I guess because they are uh, gunners after all, don't have uh, impact protection. But people are gonna die, no doubt about it. Question is... Can I kill them all before I die? I'm gonna try and keep Daryl and Ines alive, because they are my... Uh, more most damaging units, but unfortunately, ever since I moved Thamon out of uh, out of this area, everybody's been targeting Daryl, which is absolutely suboptimal, and I regret that decision. But how 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 would I have known? Just got to try and make the best of the bad situation now. Yeah? He's surprisingly dodging a lot of lot of attacks. You got a nice counter attack. Survive! Ooh, 
just about. How come? How come that rocket is doing hardly any damage? Maybe it's because only it's only attacking one guy. Oh wait, those are not rockets. Those are missiles, idiot. Okay, okay, now it makes sense. That that guy that guy does not have a rocket launcher. It's the guy on the right who's got the rocket launcher. Oh no, he was using a shield, was he? He's got no more shields left now. Come on, he's got 60 HP left on the body. There we go. One more enemy destroyed. Slowly starting to clear out the right hand side. <coughs> it's not a priority though. So whose turn is left? I think both Ines and Daryl have had their turn already. I'm gonna get Thamond out. And see what damage I can do here. Ooh, did we destroy his weapon? I think we destroyed his weapon. That's great. Yeah, we destroyed his weapon. Alright. Now we just need him to clear the way. Running away like a bitch. Oh crap. Our weapon is destroyed now. Someone still has shields? Interesting. Alright, Daryl and Ennis is next victim here. I'm gonna ignore Rangus for a while even though he is weaponless. I need Daryl and Ennis to be alive. And Daryl is being heavily targeted here. Doesn't help that those guys dodge so much. We've got 99% accuracy with our hard rod. So this is really unfortunate. I mean how much how much evasion can the enemies possibly have? At least some of them are going after Thamond. By all means, kill him. But, uh, yeah, he seems to be dodging a bit. Which is buying me some time. Oof! Does it help that these guys have shields? It's deflecting, it's deflecting all the damage away. Didn't do it that time though. Ah! Stop dodging! Unbelievable. Just my luck. Alright, what are you guys up to? I'll just keep them in this formation, cause why not? I want I want I want uh, someone to enter this gap so we can nail them. But right now nothing really. Literally only Daryl and NS are doing any damage whatsoever. Ooh, nice dodge Rangus! Holy crap! That could prove uh, super useful. Oh 
boy. Everybody's attacking Daryl here. Was that all? I can take that. This is annoying. But can't be helped. That's front mission 4. Another one bites the dust. Hammond has been crippled. <laughs> he's he's watching the life slowly drain out of his sponsor. So it's only turn 72. Time has slowed down for me. But we are slowly but surely making making progress here. Oh, it's a fucking satellite dish. God, that guy will have plenty of evasion. Not, not when he's down, though. Wish he would remain down for like the entire turn. How does he get get back up? Okay, so here these enemies are attacking Rengus. If I can slowly just pull him back, maybe we can like this uh, one's satellite TV. <laughs> yeah, sa sharing satellite TV, 200 damage at a time. Okay, I'm gonna pull Rengus back a bit so that I can uh, invite them into my web. There we go. Always gonna counter attack with a uh, weapon if I can. I mean, everyone except for Rengis and uh, Ines might as well just be watching TV. They're just soaking up everyone's damage. I just wish uh, they won't attack, uh, the enemy won't attack Daryl so much. I need him! And this missile here needs to go. Huh. If only I had a say in the matter. Alright. Plan was successful. Uh, but we don't have anybody with weapons. Great! Well, we can block them. Right? Yeah, we can do this. I think this guy doesn't have a weapon. Now he has no arms. All right. I would like to say things are starting to look up, but we still have a rocket launcher to deal with. Surprisingly, he hasn't moved an inch. I won't mind if he keeps it that way. Yes, another one down. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to the next mission though.
Maybe I should consider healing Rengus up next, since Daryl is not in on the immediate danger. Famine, I don't care. I would like Lewis and Daryl. Uh, not Daryl. Lewis and Rengus to contribute on the left hand side. Oh no, I was just talking about the rocket launcher! Fuck, fuck, fuck! He's been activated. So I'm I'm gonna have rockets incoming next next turn. Yeah, yeah, great. That's exactly what I wanted. Anyway, so what I was saying is let's heal up Rangus. So that he can start contributing a bit. And we need to clear out the left hand side too. Stop using goddamn shields! There is another satellite dish. Wait a minute. I can actually surround him with three people. Oh, 11 HP left. Can Rengis contribute here? Shit! Should have positioned Daryl on the other side. My bad, that was, that was entirely on me. Nicely done! Salmon, uh, can I can I use him as bait, perhaps? Not right now. The right hand side has pretty much been uh, wiped out. I'd be I'd be shocked if Salmon makes out of this alive. This guy's also a missile launcher. Why aren't they using rockets? Huh. Must admit I'm quite surprised. I don't know how exactly the AI calculates these things. Of course, with 11 HP remaining on his body, you're going to never hit the body again. Come on, you guys. My Daryl is in a lot of trouble. Somebody plays at the body. 11 HP. Wow, that's way too much to ask. Yeah, this, this is where burst weapons are useful. Especially a shotgun.
salmon is dead. Oh wow, he actually dodged that. I think those guys are going to switch to rockets only after they run out of missiles. So I better make this fast. People are starting to lose their legs now. You gotta be kidding me, man! After a couple hits on the body? Seriously, they took me seriously. Finally. They almost destroyed all of his other parts. Well, at least something happened afterwards. Now we can go after this guy. Daryl and Ines are gonna go after that guy. I don't really care about the others. Uh, Rangisa and Lewis have done a pretty good job here. Let me see if I can get away with uh, healing up Famine as well. So we can have Lewis, Rangus and Thamond on this side. Even though Thamond is not linked with anyone, he can contribute whatever little little he can. So Daryl is legless as is Ines. Let's give Ines back her legs. So she can uh, move, move towards that uh, miss missile here. Time is still useless. Here comes the rockets! Oh, that's a grenade. Yeah, no, that's a rocket. Ow! Uh, oh god, damn it! <laughs> I was gonna win this mission. I was gonna win this mission, damn it! Fucking hell! Look at this. At least they gave me some grace period. They didn't start using rockets right away, otherwise uh, I probably wouldn't even have made it to this stage. Ines, start doing some damage here. How much damage is she gonna get in return, I wonder? Nothing? Yes, I'm is useless. Sucks that these missileers have a lot of HP too. Desperately hoping Daryl will live. Oh wait, no rockets? Why is it using rockets? Okay, now I switch back to missiles for some stupid reason. I don't mind, I don't mind. I'll, I'll get him, I'll get him next on. Okay, okay, they don't do too much damage. But they, they are pretty tanky though. Hopefully, zero evasion.
I wanted to heal Famine, but no, Daryl. Daryl is a much higher priority. So it doesn't look like Famine is ever gonna come into the game. Ooh, just about enough. Store parts left off. Let's get down in the game. Hopefully it won't be attacked from now on. What a horrible sound. Uh, so what's your impression on melee only run so far? Well, it started off pretty damn good, but holy crap, it's it's uh, missions are starting to get very long, and especially these uh, in inner city missions. Uh, it, yeah, it's a chronic lack of space, which is the biggest problem for melee. I think melee only relies a lot on uh, linked attacks. It was going pretty well until uh, mission 12, I'd say. What do you think? If you've been following along, you got any advice for me? I think I think it is going to get pretty challenging later on. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too sure about that because uh, we're going to start buying computers for everyone. Oh, come on! Okay, good. He didn't attack. We're gonna start buying computers for everyone. Everyone's gonna have melee proficiency. So, I might be wrong about it getting challenging later on. But we've also seen that... Uh, un unless they regularly hit the body... It's not a... Uh, I mean, it, it takes a lot of time just to kill one farm, so... Unless you can surround it with uh, at least three or four units, four of your units. Okay, now we can start healing uh, Thamond. Thamond, you can finally start contributing! Oh my god! Grind by stick punches. I don't even know what to say. Yes, my thousand box. <laughs> Pretty much. Although these, this this bonking sound is uh, a product of using rods, knuckles knuckles make a much better sound. Ooh, nice! Destroy his legs. Yeah, that's the sound that the knuckles make, and our end game weapons are gonna be knuckles. Knuckles and maybe pile? No, not pile knuckles. It's gonna be knuckles. I think it's called the Crusader. Come at me, bro! Alright, we pretty much won this. Phew. Sigh of relief. It's only gonna last a little bit, because the next mission is gonna be an absolute nightmare. This mission took an hour. Now millionaire, so can't really advise anything. Okay. What all have you tried? If, you, if you've tried any special kind of runs. One thing I would say though, uh, proficiency is very important. Weapon, weapon levels seem to be pretty damn important in this game. Because uh, I, see a, I see a huge amount of uh, difference in the damage between melee level 1, level 2 and level 3. Understandably.
was certainly more than uh, what 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 I saw in Front Mission Three. But Front Mission Three had like uh, twenty levels, so it would make sense that each 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 individual level would make that much of a difference. And most of the damage in Front Mission Three did come from the weapons rather than uh, from proficiency. Hey, stop running away! Not bad, I, I can actually do this within 30 turns. Which, uh, which was the arbitrary requirement to open uh, U Simulator U10. But I've already unlocked it, so it's not a big deal. Oh man, finally! An hour 15 minutes! Holy crap! I can't believe I only lost 400 bucks. I'll take that. <laughs>